Okay, how you doing out there today, everybody in YouTube land? I got my uh, workshop out here, a nice balmy 60 degrees. It's about 19 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And I'm gonna be building a uh, modification to my Harbor Freight uh, tire machine today because of some problems I've had with my big truck tires. So let me get this off the tripod and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'll be right back. All right, here's the issue. I bought uh, four new tires online for my uh, truck, and these are 275, 75, 16 load range E or 10 ply rated tires. They're very, very stiff. And I have mounted my 20 plus year old Harbor Freight tire machine, finally mounted it on the ground. And this is not my idea. I'm not taking any credit for anything, but I'm using some uh, scrap metal I had laying around and basically what I'm doing, this is the top of the tire machine. Anybody that has one, this goes over here, screws down, holds your tire in place, okay? So that's what this is. Sorry for making you dizzy. This round stock, that I actually had to buy. This goes over that, fits perfectly, okay? So this is going to have an arm welded to it over here. I've already traced it yesterday. This piece here will slide back and forth to adjust for the, the uh, width of the rim, the diameter. This piece here will actually go on this piece of pipe that I got off my old satellite dish. That will go in here, and then it will slide up and down. Of course, I'm going to modify it. And at the bottom here, I'm going to make a piece of flat stock, which I already have. And this is what they call a duck bill. This is for the tire changing machine. This is going to end up down here, welded to that pipe, bolted to the pipe. And then this piece here, when it's finished, will get welded to that and it'll be able to move up and down and in and out. So that's basically what I'm doing here today. And I'll be back when I got more to show you. I've got to grind that down, prep the metal, go clean off my welding bench, and I'm gonna weld this thing up. And it shouldn't take me that long. I'm guessing this is gonna take me about an hour and a half. So I'll be back when I got more to show. It's just uh, another little project here on a wintry day here in Tennessee at the off-grid garage. All right, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, I've got some of the pieces laid out. I just tested my new helmet and it's working. I gotta run a bead here. This piece with the ground clamp is on is gonna get welded to this pipe. This nut and bolt here is going to get welded here to tighten against the tube. This is the piece that slides, and this will also have a uh, nut to tighten it. All right, let me set up on the tripod and I'll show you me welding it. Okay, we've got the old Millimatic up and running. We're going to weld up this uh, piece of metal out here with power from the sun. Be right back. Turn the camera around. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Just that easy. Alright, I'm going to tack this bolt onto that other bolt so I don't have to use a wrench. Be welding blind here temporarily. Go, one handle. I ain't going nowhere. 
right, that takes care of that. All right, I'm gonna weld this uh, big piece on. Okay. Cool, that's done. All right, this will give you a little better idea. This is the piece that goes over the main tube on the tire changer. These are the pieces. This will slide back and forth for rim size. This is where the round tube will go. And that's how you pinch it to keep it from moving. So now it's off to uh, make the round tube. And weld the foot on for the uh, the plastic piece, the duck head, duck bill, and that'll be about it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here's the uh, piece for the pole. This is what holds the duck head. I got it on there loosely. I'll bring it over to the uh, rest of the machine and you'll get the whole idea behind it. Be right back. Okay, here it is in its rough state. This is the duck bill. This clamps on the rim. This puts the tire on and off. This piece here, loosen that, lets it go up and down for your depth. And then on this side here, you've got adjustments to go in and out for different rim sizes. It should do up to an 18 inch tire. I don't have any, so that's good. So yeah, that's it. That's my take on it. That's how I did mine. Nothing fancy, just enough to get the job done. All right. Hopefully part two, I'll show this all painted and uh, mounting and dismounting a tire if I uh, have the patience to film that while I'm doing it. All right, there you go. That's the Harbor Freight mod, my version. Thanks for watching. Part two to come.